trouble. Hey you sexy sailors, have you seen our Spivo stick? We love it, we stick our GoPro on it, it captures all the angles, it acts like a selfie stick so you just flip it around and you get the view of yourself. Also it comes with a phone mount, which is really cool for me because I like to take pictures, so I just stick my phone on it and snap some pics. We've used it a lot on the bow of our boat, it allows us to get down to the water. Last time on the Lazy Geckos. Pretty red commons. Yeah, coming out northeast at uh, 30, 32 knots right now. Is this where you've been getting ready? You wanna take some pictures? This is an awesome day. We'd be going into the channels and the inlet and I'd still be on the deck. Who do you like anchoring more with? Oh, so here's exactly. the deal. I mean, you got it on looks. <laughs> Target fixation, it's a killer. <laughs> exactly. My legs, my arms! <laughs> that one little Shit. cloud, that one little cloud. Hey, you guys, welcome back to the You know, it's narrow, but it's nice and deep. <laughs> what do you got there? Seven and a half. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, a little bit of a headwind, but not much. You're always vacuuming every time I come in here. some gators. I'm ready to hunt some gators. Something popped up out of the water exactly where I swam for the swim check. Crocodiles. This bridge is like coming from Miami down to the Keys, then you turn right and go into like Key Largo. This was the first time back in the Keys after a pretty nasty hurricane season. The damage was apparent everywhere we looked. It was sad to see, but also encouraging to see how people were already in the recovery process. 
Still, it's amazing just how powerful these storms can be. How cool is this? Every once in a while, we'll get visitors along the way. These guys were zipping all over the place. It was super neat. Are you having fun yet? I am. I'm ready. <laughs> so John, not only do you have two fridges, two freezers, you also have a cooler, and that's where the beer goes. Yeah, that's where the beer goes. We finish the beer in the cooler. We get it cool in the fridge, then we put it on ice to make it perfect. Okay. And then? If we forget the ice, it's a disaster. Yes, that's right. So tell me, why are we all sitting here doing nothing? Because it's windy as crap. So we pulled in yesterday. Uh, we're supposed to leave this morning. But the winds, I think, are like right around 30, correct? Oh, we're in a lull. 20 knots. 20 knots, okay, well. 20 knots gusting 30. 20 knots gusting 30. And when we were up there setting the anchor, I was falling over. It was so windy. So we decided to stay, leave tomorrow, hopefully. Um, if not, play around for another day, I guess. I see you got your wine. I do. I had to switch to white wine because I'm running out of red. I never deviate. It's beer, beer, and more beer. So I'm, I'm very well prepared after a, uh, a lovely provisioning job by Brittany while we were at the dock picking up fuel. So now we're doing what you're supposed to do when you're stuck on the hook, uh, waiting for your weather window to cross, which is you drink, listen to music, drink, make some food, drink, and then drink. So. What about having sex? Where'd that go? Um, I'm not going to get involved in that. Oh. We don't have sex in bed. <laughs> so we're good. Not in our bed. The baby's always there. What? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I don't even, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just going to stick to beer. <laughs> we probably christened the bur our birth. No wonder she likes us so much. She loves us. Oh my God. We'll make the wind stop because I'm ready to go. John, yes. can you tell me about these nifty power cords that I've been bugging my husband to tell me about? Look out, it looks like a smiley face. So the normal power cord, which is your Marinko shore power, screws in and uh, yeah, you tighten it onto yeah. the uh, power inlet and then you put it on the dock power and you have two 30 amp supplies of electricity and a fire hazard. And as you've seen with what happened with the previous plugs, we almost burnt the boat to the ground. Bad, right? So I went to, to the other one and it wouldn't even come off. Look at that, it's like singed in there. So this is what it was plugged into. This is, look at that. So when I was at Annapolis, the people who own this company were saying, hey, if you ever want to really take boating seriously, you need to get these and lessen your fire hazard. So sure enough, bought them on Defender.com. They arrived two days later and we disassembled and reassembled the electrical system. And when we're on the dock, now we have nice, clean, safe power. Why would they lessen the chance of having a fire? Because of the way that they clamp? Uh, the way that they clamp, I believe they have 400% more um, surface area for the contacts uh, on the boat and then the cord to uh, make. So... You just open this up, push it in, it in, close yeah. them, and you're good. And you're good. You can't screw it up. And it's more like a square, too. As well. Yep. Very neat. Very neat. Yep, so now we have a complete new shore power setup and uh, how we got away with not having a fire in the last two weeks, I'll never know. So for all you people out there who are going to buy yourself a sailboat, one of the first things you need to look at is your shore power plug-in and make sure that that is running nicely. And if not, this is not expensive compared to a boat. So go ahead and get those uh, orange plugs. So this says smart plug systems, is that the name? Yeah, that's them. Smart, smart plug. plug systems. If you're at a boat show, they go to all the boat shows. I met them in Annapolis a couple years ago. Uh, they're at Miami also. So, uh, but mandatory. If you're gonna spend any time on a dock, they're a much better device. The old Marinko stuff, that original design goes back to like the 1930s or even earlier. They've just never created something better until this. You all right, Reese? 
Did you eat it? I'm not gonna eat it, it's little. It's little. You can't eat that one. You wanna look, Mama? Yeah, I wanna look. Oh, you eat it? Daddy eat it. Yeah, one big pinch where he lost one somehow. Is that why he's struggling? No, he's just. And that meat? Yeah. That's a crab. Yeah. Do you mean let him back in the water? Yeah. Alright, let's let him Wait, go. Wait, Reese, touch it. No way, I'll bite him. No! I know he's not gonna touch it, I'm just saying that. Come on, Reese. Come on, Reese. Watch, watch. Let's see what he does. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh. Say bye bye, crab. Bye bye, crab. Mom, you got him? Reese, come here. Is there in the mommy? You can watch them up there. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. He went way down, but he's really dumb, so he'll come right back up. <laughs> How's that look up there? Catch him on that stay? Tour. <laughs> Drink break. <laughs> I had to moisten my. Moisten? Okay. <laughs> you didn't have more wine oh, for you. Oh, my third glass of wine. Okay, come outside with me. Shades are on. Okay, this is the deck. <laughs> Basically, like where we spend most of our time. So, this is a complete seating area over here. This table does come down put the string in it you can fit six to eight people here just to eat dinner however there is way more seating than that if you look right here in the captain's chair this does flip around you can go either direction two more people beautiful helm navigation stations there's two right there and you got everything all your controls are right there obviously these are for to hold all of your sheets Self-telling wrenches, these kind of lock them off. Beautifully done, motorized. And then looking backwards, you can fit even more people. One, two, one, two. So I'm already at six, eight, 10, 12 people. And that's not even to mention the co-captain's chair over there, which has become my home recently. I absolutely love it there until the sun bakes you alive. And then back here, you have more controls for the sails. And of course, storage is all underneath me. Dinghy is in the back on some davits. It's amazing. Can you tell I love the boat? <laughs> and then you have your walk down area. The captain has put lighting in all underneath the boat, so that's beautiful at night. And then if you come up top with me, you have all the deck space that you could possibly need. It's beautiful. Now this is a newer boat, so they've really done it with the perks. Lots of stepping areas to get up and down. Lots of storage below me. Right actually here is kind of like a garage. It's where the generator is, tools. It's really neat. In every cabin you can get down in and actually work. Pretty crazy. And that one's holding about 10 to 12 fenders just to give you an idea of the storage and there's probably room to spare. 
So right here is where all your anchoring is. So you'll find anchors right here, drop down, anchor chain is in there. You have a fresh water wash down right there. You will find a ton more deck space. Obviously the sails, everything else. And at some point I'm going to hop up there and relax. Maybe snap a picture or two <laughs> for proof. Now this is what, I think a 2013 Antares 44i, amazing boat. Uh, Jeremiah and I have been torn between a monohull and a catamaran, so it's been really nice to spend some time on a catamaran to help us make the assessment of what we're like, what we like. Don't do anything, okay? Coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. You think you're good on crab pots? Yeah, for now. Ooh. Good? I think it's freaking hot in there. It's coming right for us. <laughs> That's pretty, I know like we're crazy for sailing and stuff. And people are like, what? But I would not be able to do that. They drop the anchor and then they're like. <laughs> We got radar over here. There's the shoreline to Florida. And somewhere up there is Key West. Howdy. You look a little burnt. <laughs> Actually, I feel, I don't feel burnt. I just feel really hot. Like, I feel like I have heat escaping from my head. Second head. So two heads inside this vanity is larger than any vanity I've ever seen. You have white strips where your sunglasses go. You have Instagram? Why not follow us? You can get all sorts of real-time news, photos, and more. Check us out at Lazy Gecko Sailing. Our episodes are fueled by our patrons. See even more fun on our Vimeo channel.